In this video, we are gonna set up the Django REST framework. So it's, a, it's an open source project, if you didn't know. And right away, I want to actually encourage you to donate if you begin making money using the REST framework. Because that's what they actually say right on their homepages. The REST framework is a collaboratively funded project. If you use the REST framework commercially, we strongly encourage you to invest. Because once again, this is all created by the community and it's open source to people like you and me to integrate a REST framework onto our websites. So before we actually do the installation, I just kind of want to look at the documentation really quickly. They actually have really great documentation. It's even better than the Django documentation, I think so, I think anyway. So uh, I just want to kind of give you a little bit of a guide on how to navigate this thing. So first of all, the first thing I want to talk about is the tutorial heading up here. This is kind of the main things that you'll find yourself using if you use the Django REST framework. And we're going to be talking about all of these except for relationships and hyperlinks and view sets in this course that I'm building. Next is the API guide section. This is everything possible that you can do with the Django REST framework. So the tutorial section is kind of like the beginner's guide and then you have the API guide that shows kind of the full um, Possib possibilities of, fu of functionality. So let's get started. Let's go to tutorial and we'll go to the quick start guide. It's actually, you know, very, very, very easy to do. So just following along with these instructions here, the first step is opening up your project, your Django project. So I'm right clicking, opening a new command prompt on my directory. Just in case you're wondering, you won't be able to do that right click and open command prompt by default. That's actually a setting that I had to uh, adjust on my Windows registry. So you'll probably just have to open up the command prompt the old-fashioned way and go down to the search menu. So now let's activate our virtual environment and CD into the Active Directory. And now I'm going to follow the instructions. So the first one is to install Django. Obviously, I've already got that done. Next is install the Django REST framework. So pip install Django REST framework. Click enter. I've already got it installed, so it's going to tell me that my requirement is satisfied. But if you don't, which you won't, it will install it for you. After that, we just uh, actually that's it. The, the next step is I would do pip freeze requirements.txt just to make sure that my requirements file is updated. It's giving me an error because I have some requirements that were in there from me playing around with earlier. Don't worry, you will not see that and it should not turn yellow on you. All, all it's going to do is add the requirements. Um, and now we need to go into the project and add the REST framework to the installed applications. So here we are inside the project. I'm gonna go to my site, which is my project name, go into settings, I'm gonna scroll down, and we just need to add REST, I think it's REST underscore framework to the installed Django app section and just press Control S to save that. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about serializers, Django REST framework serializers. And that's uh, that's, the kind of one of the core concepts for the Django REST framework, it's responsible for packaging data from your server or unpackaging data and then giving it to your server so your server can read it. 